A Boeing 747 burns roughly 11 tons of fuel per hour. But what if a jetliner could be powered by pure electricity? It could navigate the globe without consuming fossil fuels and instead be powered by sustainable, clean energy. While that sounds like the vision of someone like Elon Musk, it's actually a concept proposed by a professor at Wuhan University. Professor Zhao Tang has recently come up with the amazing concept for an electric plasma jet engine, and his work is creating a lot of buzz in technology labs around the world. Will it truly revolutionize air travel? We're going to find out. Before we take you on another incredible technology trip, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Tech Division if you enjoy the video. Now, let's get into it. How does jet propulsion work? An electric plasma jet engine sounds exciting, but could it really take the place of the gas-guzzling jets we have today? Airplanes around the world now use a mix of kerosene and petroleum, which is ignited after air compression. The heated gas expands with an explosive force that provides a power thrust to the jet engine. The resulting emissions are also thrown out the back of an engine. This is obviously problematic for the environment. However, an electric plasma jet engine would not have toxic hydrocarbons in the resulting reaction. Instead, the expansion of gas would be achieved by hot plasma. But how does this work, and what is plasma anyway? The incredible jet engine that Professor Zhao Tang has invented turns electricity into thrust. It uses microwaves to energize compressed air into the plasma state and shoots it out much like a regular jet. Tang says that the present model could be scaled up to a much larger version that could be used for powering a jumbo jet and eventually spaceships. While it may sound like something out of a sci-fi novel or comic, the plasma is real and is what makes this project feasible. Plasma. The universe is full of it. Plasma, in case you didn't know, is the fourth state of matter after solids, liquids, and gases. It's almost like a gas composed of charged ions, except that it doesn't have a fixed volume or shape. Professor Tang is working on a plasma thruster, as finding a means for a more sustainable power source that will not harm the environment is a high priority in both the scientific and tech communities. Similarly, other types of air propulsion technology are also being researched by NASA. NASA is already using ion thrust technology. Plasma is not as dense as the other states of matter. In fact, plasma makes up a huge part of the universe. It's present in stars, the sun, and even in lightning. This means it can also be produced in a laboratory. NASA has been toying with the idea by researching what they call NSTAR, short for NASA Solar Technology Application Readiness. NASA actually launched a satellite with plasma thrusters back in 2006, but before that, the space agency's 1998 Deep Space One spacecraft was powered by an ion thruster or ion engine, which creates the propulsion force by accelerating ions using electricity. This ion-based system could potentially help spacecraft reach speeds of 90,000 meters per second. A plasma jet plane is a distant dream. Engineers have been dreaming of a plasma-powered airplane for years, but have been bogged down by technology. The professor's current prototype engine only produces 10 newtons of thrust, which is the same as a medium-sized model rocket. A Boeing 747 with four engines, on the other hand, would realistically need 1,008 kilonewtons. Skeptics feel that the earlier limitations would again rear their ugly heads and prove an obstacle for Tang's model to scale to that size. After all, the thrust required is 100,000 times more than what Tang has invented. How Plasma Will Be Created in the Plasma Electric Engine what the electric plasma jet engine will seek to achieve is plasma for thrust. In the natural universe, plasma is formed when atoms are ionized by high-temperature fields, such as lightning. It's a similar reaction that creates the plasma in the stars and our sun. In the case of the electric jet engine, however, the temperature fields will be created by microwaves. These microwaves will create enough energy to ionize the compressed air, which is then ignited with an electrical spark. The resulting plasma created will heat up like the plasma in lightning, reaching temperatures of over 1000 degrees Celsius. It will then expand and enter a tube, creating thrust out of the other end. Professor Tang found that the thrust produced from his device reached 2400 newtons per square meter, which was similar to the amount required by a combustion engine. The problem is that the model is just a laboratory experiment. A scaled-up model would be huge. It remains to be seen whether or not this experiment could replicate enough thrust on a larger scale. The engines on even the small Airbus A320 produce about 220,000 newtons of thrust combined. 
This means even a small plane powered by an electric plasma engine would require more than 7,800 kilowatts of energy. Professor Tang is optimistic in suggesting that if the microwave power could be scaled up with the compressed air inlet stream to the standard of an actual jet engine, it would achieve the same jet propulsion. Large aircrafts flew just 30 years after the first plane. While it's not feasible quite yet, we cannot write Professor Tang's experiment off just yet. After all, when Wilbur and Orville Wright flew their very basic Kitty Hawk, scientists at the time could have hardly foreseen a steel jumbo jet courting through the air. And yet, within 40 years of the Kitty Hawk, fighter jets and passenger aircrafts were already flying back and forth across our skies. Professor Tang feels that within five years, a scaled-up plasma engine could easily power air taxis and drones meant for cargo. To power a jumbo jet, a plasma engine would need a variety of megawatt microwave sources, high-power turbine compressors, and an extremely high electric energy storage capability. But who knows, scientists might achieve that within the next decade. If the plasma electric jet engine becomes a reality, without a doubt it would have a huge impact on the environment, due to the absence of hydrocarbons and toxic emissions released by everyday air travel. What do you think? Will this be a reality one day, or is it just a pipe dream? Let us know your opinion in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Tech Division and hit the like button if you enjoyed. Till next time!